Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to take your attention to a passage in the Bible. So the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 verses 13 to 19. The gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 verses 13 to verse 19. Here we can see about the 12 apostles. Here we can see that Jesus, how he appointed them. Let's read from verse 13 onwards. And he went up on the mountain and called to him those he himself wanted, and they came to him. Then he appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and that he might send them out to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out demons. Let's concentrate on these first three verses, that is verses 13, 14 and 15. So Jesus, he called some people to himself, that is he himself wanted some people. And they came, then he appointed 12, he appointed 12 as apostles. And what was the purpose? Why did Jesus appoint them? Here in this verse, you can see that there were four reasons. The reason number one, one to be with him he said in verse number 14 then he appointed 12 that they might be with him yes jesus appointed the disciples primarily one to be with him then point number two to preach this is also said in the same verse verse 14 then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach of point number one Jesus appointed the disciples one so that they might be with him. Point number two that he might send them out to preach. Then what was the third reason that Jesus appointed these apostles? In verse number 15 you can see that and to have power to heal sickness. Yes and these apostles he appointed these twelve to heal to heal the sick. And the fourth point in verse number 15 you can see that to cast out demons you can say that this is the fourfold commission of the 12 for these 12 apostles this can be said as the fourfold commission it was first to be with him to be with jesus second to preach third to heal and fourth to cast out demons look at this my dear friend this was the purpose of Jesus selecting 12 apostles from a group of people. It is to be with him. It is to preach the gospel. It is to heal the sick and to cast out demons. My dear friend, are you ready to be with Jesus? Are you ready to be in the presence of Jesus? Are you praying to Jesus? Are you reading his Bible? Are you in his presence are you praying in tongues are you always communing with him are you talking to him are you waiting upon the lord are you hearing from him my dear friend jesus he is the good shepherd he is your god yes spend your time in spending in the presence of jesus point number two are you preaching the gospel my dear friends, just as Jesus chose these 12 apostles to preach the gospel, you are all called to preach the gospel. Are you ready to take up this commission? Yes. Third point, to heal. Are you ready to heal the people? Are you ready to heal the sick people? Are you ready to heal the broken hearted people? My dear friends, you are called to preach the gospel to heal the sick and to cast out demons you can see that jesus he cast out demons demons who were oppressing people left them at the command of jesus you all have the authority to cast out demons just like god intended the 12 the 12 chosen apostles to be with him to preach the gospel to heal the sick 
and to cast out demons in this day and time you are that chosen person you are the person that jesus is looking so that you will carry the great commission you will continue the works that these 12 apostles did you will continue to proclaim the good news of jesus christ you will continue to preach the gospel you will continue to heal the sick you will continue to cast out demons you should continue to be in the presence of jesus christ are you ready to take up this great commission just like jesus ordained these 12 apostles you are the apostle of this day you are the person that god is looking to to touch the lives of the people around you there are so many people around you who still don't know that jesus christ is the one true god if you do not preach who will preach there are so many people who are sick around you if you do not pray for them and heal them in the name of jesus who will do it jesus wants to use your hands to lay hands on the sick so that they shall recover yes there are so many people around you who are oppressed by demons who are possessed by demons who are afflicted by demons they don't know what they are doing they are in so much trouble and problem you are called to cast out demons and to set the captives free are you ready to do that for all these things for preaching the gospel for healing the sick to cast out demons go back to the first point be with jesus be in the presence of jesus are you ready to spend your time with jesus are you ready to be under his presence jesus loves you now look let's look at uh, uh, mark chapter 3 uh, verses 16 to 19 you can see about the names of the disciples simon to whom he gave the name peter then james the son of zebedee and john the brother of james to whom he gave the name boanerges that is sons of thunder andrew philip bartholomew matthew thomas james the son of alphaeus thaddeus simon the canaanite and judas iscariot who also betrayed him and they went into a house. Look at these are the names of the 12 disciples, 12 apostles that Jesus selected among a group of people. My dear friend, you are also chosen. That is the good news. Each and every person on this planet Earth has a bounden duty to worship God, to proclaim that there is only one true God and his name is Jesus. Open your mouth for Christ. Open your mouth to spread the gospel it does not matter whether you're qualified or not it does not matter whether you're able or not it does not matter whether you have any prior experience or not jesus can use you if god can use a donkey to speak you are better than a donkey if god can use the people whom the world rejected yes you are more than qualified look at the characters in the Bible. Look at each and every character in the Bible. The world might say that they are not qualified, but in the sight of God, you are precious. You can do it and you can make a difference. You are the same people God has chosen to be in His presence, to do His will, to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to cast out demons. Are you ready? If you're ready, let's pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, just as we learned how you chose 12 people, 12 ordinary people, and you transformed their lives and made them apostles so that they could spend time with you, they could be in your presence, they could preach, they could heal the sick, and they could cast out demons in the same way as we dedicate this. Lord, whomsoever is watching this program, let them understand that they are chosen to take this great commission forward lord i pray that lord use each one of them 
for your namesake for your glory for the expansion of your kingdom for your will to be done on this earth i bless them i pray for them and i declare and decree that thank you lord that you are going to use them mightily for your namesake so that they will preach the gospel so that they will heal the sick so that they will cast out demons in your name and that lord your name will be glorified lord thank you for hearing this prayer lord we give you all the glory and honor we pray this prayer in jesus mighty name amen jesus loves you